G'day everybody, Peter from RV Finders. Yes, I've got another very popular, uh, in New Zealand, a very popular motorhome. It's this uh, custom-built 1993 Toyota Coaster. Yes, uh, we're going to go through it. It's got a really lovely color scheme. I like it. And it's got the nice decals, tinted windows, and this lovely fern on the side. So this one has just over traveled over 190,000 kilometers, and those who know the Toyota coasters, that's hardly run in. But we'll get to the entry door in a moment. It's got an electric step at the bottom, lovely awning. It's a Fiyama three-meter awning. And yeah, you've got the water tanks down here. So you can see that that's the water filler cap. It's got the hubbo meter. There's some road user charges on everything for you. So yeah, really great condition, I would say, for the age of the vehicle. And then we come to the back, we've got the reverse camera on top, you've got a wine guard satellite dish, the wiper, and then, yeah, this is the, the garage area, so it's got a quite nice garage, they're all different, uh, but you've got the cables, wastewater pipe, it's got actually a black water tank, which is good when you like uh, freedom camping a lot and you want to use the toilet, so there's a lot of capacity for that, some people like it, some people don't, uh, it's a personal preference. So it's got the house batteries, the vehicle battery, battery chargers, two 9 kg gas bottles, which is also a plus. And then, there, yeah, there's some good boot space, plus a tow bar, which is amazing. Yeah, self-contained. And as we swing around, this is just a brief overview. So we'll just run through the vehicle. You're more than welcome to come and look for it yourself and also test drive. I must say, just turn once. You haven't even turned the key and it, she started up. She's got a de uh, water trauma ga water heating, and this is where the black water pipe uh, exit pipe is um, to the dump station. And you've got your cable, your 240 cable, to the campground in there. And uh, yeah, roof vents, fridge vents, everything, and uh, all the on road cost, everything will be included. So let's step into the other side and see what she's all about. So let's enter this uh, the entry door here. We've got the electric step that comes out and the fire extinguisher and the awning one is just in the door as you come in there's some storage here so what we do is we'll just start in the back and then we'll work our way to the front okay as you can see what i like about this setup now there's a lot of layouts and different ones for this coasters as you could see on the market but this i really like it's open plan and uh, i'll show you in a moment what the previous owners did uh, how they actually uh, structured the bedding in the back so you can actually use it as it is now, you can use it as a double, like sleeping like that. Or what they did is they filled these two seating areas here. They filled that in and they slept like that, like north-south. And then they could easily get out of the bed, which I think is, is, is really, 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 really good. So it's a bit of versatility to the bed. It's a good inner spring mattress. And then there's storage. There's three storage compartments under the bed, plus the true drawers. There's actually quite a lot of storage inside. Plus these storage along here. I mean, I'm not going to open all the cupboards for you, but they're all cupboards here. You've got the elevation control here and also the satellite dish. And uh, television, 19-inch TIG TV. It's got a little uh, sky um, freeview box here uh, that's connected there. And, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, you've got all these little drawers, like a slide-out sort of pantry thing and your cutlery drawer. There's some cups and saucers and stuff if you would like that. Um, yeah, four burner, the, the oven, grill, function, everything is in really good nick. Uh, four burner, gas hob, and lots of bench space here. And also what's nice is, like I said, this table can actually drop down and make another sleeping arrangement here. Although it's only a two berth. But you have got the option if somebody want to lie down here or relax or just lie down here and watch the telly because the telly can swivel around. Okay, um, yeah, got the zinc here with a little filter tap. Got the Truma boiler for the hot water. Three-way fridge, yes. It's a three-way fridge, uh, gas, electric, and battery. Uh, and then over here, you've got the, the monitor for the black water, the gray water, and all the vent fans. Where these fans are pretty cool, and it is quite expensive too if you need to install it. Uh, most of the motorhomes have just got the vent, but this has got an extractor fan as well as you can draw air into the um, into the motorhome. And then you also got this extractor fan here from Dometic with a little light over the cooktop. All right, so we'll do a bit of a shuffle and then 
We'll go around here, and this is where the propex uh, gas heating is. So the gas heater, there is vents up there, uh, down there, and uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, straightforward. You got all the lights here, switches and stuff. And then as we enter, this is the uh, bathroom and toilet. It's got a little basin, yeah, and the uh, vent as well as the toilet, and it's got the flush system there. So it is a, as I mentioned. Um, it is a, it's got a black water tank, uh, all the, can't now on the top of my head, remember the, how much liter it holds, um, but everything would be in the listing. And then, yeah, uh, you got more like a wardrobe, yeah, cupboards here. So there you got the solar controller in there. Okay, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, and then in the front there, you've got the, 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 the dashboard of the Toyota Coaster. Really great. Yeah, and like I said, um, they're driving really, really well. They are on COF, so legally you're only allowed 90 k's an hour. Uh, but yeah, no problem at all. It's auto got automatic gearbox and uh, yeah, really good condition. We've done a pre-purchase inspection check and a compression test that all came back in really good shape. So if there's any questions or you need any advice, please contact us or you want to come and view or even test drive this lovely motorhome. Please contact, contact us at <laughs> Peter at rrefinders.co.nz uh, you can go on our Facebook page uh, as well as our YouTube channel uh, we've got quite a few of these motorhomes that we sold in the past to do some comparisons and yeah you are um, welcome to discuss anything that you would like to with us so until next time that's enough from me please uh, like and subscribe that would be good to the channel and we're also looking to grow it and bring you more motorhomes like this and others and also anything to do with motorhoming and caravan. Thank you so much. Goodbye.